hello everyone uh, welcome to this uh, new video again in this video i'll be trying to do the uh, uh, iot application using esp32 and the blink uh, iot platform so today i will be going to control the internal led of this uh, esp32 module and i will be using this gas sensor to uh, use as it uh, analog sensor and we'll try to send the data of this gas sensor to the IoT, uh, blink iot cloud for the time being, let us just uh, stop the camera and uh, we'll proceed to the setup of the website and the code and then we'll go to the uh, setup of the device. So uh, basically, there are so many things you need to uh, know about this. So what is token ID, what is the secret key and all the things. So without knowing and uh, having any knowledge of any coding, means uh, how to write the code for the Blink, so we'll start from the template and uh, with a basic template we can just edit the template to get our work done so first of all you go to this symbol here so this is a quick template symbol so go to this quick start here okay so it is asking you need to upgrade so what i'll do here is i'll just uh, delete this one so can i can i can create a new one okay so uh, if you want you can go and upgrade this again we'll go to the quick start here basically maximum two is allowed with free okay so quick go to quick start uh, go to blink uh, um, application uh, website then go to quick start then just click on let's glow so it will ask you to choose the hardware so here choose the hardware as esp32 and choose the module as wi-fi so there are different models also but we should uh, we are going to choose Wi-Fi here and then it is asking which IDE you are going to use or to upload the code so basically we are going to use the Arduino ID so it is by default selected we'll click on next then okay and then it is asking to install the blink library for the Arduino so let us see that also so I have the code I'll delete this okay we'll be starting from the scratch so here you need to go to the manage library part So it just takes some time uh, to open the library. Okay, now here you need to search the Blink uh, library and you need to install it. As I have already installed, I don't have to do it, but you have to install this uh, Blink IoT, uh, Blink uh, library. Okay. So here you have to type Blink, and it will show you the library here. See for me it is already installed so install option is not coming so the install it is already installed here so I will close it and again we will go to the Blink website. So now once library you have installed then click on next here. So in the next step it will ask you what is your Wi-Fi name and uh, hotspot ID password so I will write my hotspot name and password okay and then you can see so this side black color you can see the code is generated for you okay the ready-made code is there and we'll be doing some changes in the code I'll tell what changes we're going to make so we'll just copy this code okay and we'll just paste in the Arduino so we are uh, just paste, pasted it here and then what you have to do you just have to compile it and run it okay so see what the next step is say, uh, saying here so in the next step it is waiting that whether the uh, you are run the code and compile it or not so for that just go to arduino and uh, you have to select this esp32 board module and the com port whichever port you have selected in the module and then click on compile okay in the meantime uh, i have already connected this through the usb port so you can see here so this is the device so once it starts uploading i need to press the boot button so i'll try to make it side by side so that you can see what is happening So it is uploading i need to press the boot button i have pressed it and it will start uploading soon yeah it has started uploading okay 
ओके वेल्यू फॉर द सीरियल मॉनिटर नाउ एंड द बॉर्ड रेट इज गिवेन एज दिस वन ओके सो नाउ द डिवाइस इज कनेक्टेड हियर इफ आई प्रेस द रीसेट बटन हियर यू कैन सी इट इज कनेक्टिंग टू दिस माय हाउस फॉर आई डी पासवर्ड and uh, then it is connected so whatever is coming this blink is written in style so it's all about inside the blink library so i have not written anything i have just copy pasted the code and it is working so next uh, we'll write here go to device and i'll uh, just maximize it so see what is happening here so when i am button control one uh, on i am doing then it is changing some value switch value here and uh, here you can see some up time is there and uh, one uh, this widget is here so what is happening but uh, if i see you can see on the esp32 there is no change is there so basically what is happening the code is by default in written such a way that when you press this button the value is going to the esp32 again it is coming back to your uh, switch value so one val variable is created here so let us go to the code first we'll do the some do some changes in the code and then we'll again come back to this uh, blink platform to see what is happening okay so this is our uh, not this one so this is our code here and uh, i'll just try to explain quickly that what is what so here this is the default one blink template id that is created by the blink iot website so this is the device name so it's just it's a quick start device then blink authentication token <coughs> okay and then then blink print serial so blink print serial it will print or write the values on the blink iot then wifi dot h wifi client dot h blink simple asp32 dot these are the header files required for that so this code is generated i have written nothing here and then character authentication is equals to uh, blink authentication token and blink authentication token is given here okay so by default it is taken from the website then my character uh, wifi hotspot password is here and then what is happening it is starting one timer blink timer it is starting and we need to do the changes somewhere here see blink underscore right and in bracket it is written v0 so from the website let's me let me tell show you that what is this v0 okay so now if i go to this uh, template here and this one quick start template we have created and here if i go to web dashboard and uh, so this is what is there right so this is deep, this is not the actual value this is a random value it is showing the on off will happen here but doesn't change the value so if i go to edit here so now you see this button if i go inside this so you see here this it is a switch control and connected to v0 pin virtual pin 0 so something called in the uh, blink website so this variable or this button is connected to virtual pin 0 now if i go to inside the code here so you can see blink right virtual 0 so what is happening in the virtual 0 pin is control whatever value is written here okay now the int value is equals to param dot as integer and the function so basically what it is doing is so whatever value is happening or coming from the v0 it is storing that value to a Uh, storing that value to a integer type variable whose name is given as value you can take it in anything as here and then what it is doing it is blink dot virtual right v1 so blink dot virtual right so it is going to write the value in the blink website in the virtual pin v1 so let us see what is the virtual pin v1 so here you can see this one is the virtual pin v1 so this whatever value is coming from the switch ESP32 again is redirecting to the virtual pin V1. So here let us do one thing. So as it is a switch, the value will be zero or one. So in that case, let us write digital right, okay, and pin number two, which is inbuilt pin for your uh, ESP32, and then we'll write value. So whatever value is received from the virtual pin V0. that value will be given to the pin number 2 if it is 1 it is 1 if it is 0 if it is 0 now as you know when you uh, digital write something then you need to um, uh, pin mode also you need to set that so if i go below in the code so here the void setup is there so inside the void setup here i have to mention the pin mode so now i'll write pin mode 2 comma output 
okay now i have set my pin mode to comma output now with this much of change only so let us see what is happening then we will go to the gas sensor so here i will upload the code again uh, let me just up on the camera again so i am uploading the code again here so what i have done is only i have uh, mentioned that pin mode 2 is the output and digital write uh, the value to the pin mode 2 okay so now the code is uploading so what is happening in the serial monitor let us see i'll clear the output first okay so this is a serial monitor and uh, so it is connecting here so now it is connected that's done now let us go to the cloud and uh, here uh, in the cloud you need to go to this search button okay uh, i have changed i have made no changes once you get, uh, go to edit then you have to save it always so this one what we have created so you can see here with on and off i will i am able to control this led now inbuilt led okay previously it was not happening now it happened how it happened i just changed i, I have just given this value to the button okay now let us see what is this off time and it why it is increasing and what is this basically i added this cause earlier so it's showing here i'll tell you how to add this and what is this okay so we'll switch up the led and we'll again go to the arduino code and for the time being i'll stop the camera and we'll go again so now what i am going to do here is so it is updating something uh, you can see here if i go to here and open this one and uh, we'll go to web dashboard we'll go to edit so now see this this what is this off time and which virtual pin is been connected here so as you can see virtual pin v2 is connected and uh, this one i have created earlier so this one how do you add this i'll see so see here widget box is there so you can just scroll down and you can see gauge is there so double click on that and it will create one widget go to the settings and then choose the data stream so data stream is v2 i'll select and save so v2 right so this is v2 virtual pin so whatever data will come here as a numerical value the same data will come to this cause as well okay so there are multiple very interesting settings are also here so you can set the value here if this is uh, something like uh, value is between 0 to like 300 i like 250 250 then it will be green then if the value is between 250 251 so you can change these things also if 400 then value will be something if it is 400 so let's say 1000 then the color will be red so you can do like this also okay now we have to save here so virtual pin 2 remember this is the virtual pin 2 v2 we'll go to the code now so now let us see where is this virtual pin is done so you can see here blink dot virtual right v2 comma millisecond divided by 1000 so basically what it is doing is it is just uh, the arduino is counting the millisecond and the millisecond is being printed on the virtual pin 2 so now instead of printing the millisecond we will print the sensor value here okay so how to do that okay here so here we are going to use the gas sensor so instead of writing millisecond i'll change it to gas sensor now from where we are go where we are going to get the gas sensor value so i'll write int gas sensor that is equals to what so i am going to read it from the analog pin so i'll write analog analog read so let's say from esp32 uh, i'll connect this to let's say pin number 34 you can connect to any number pin so that's not an issue 
so let's say 34 and randomly i have taken now when you are reading the value from the gas sensor so what i have to do so in the void setup also i need to make it as an input so i'll write pin mode 34 comma input okay so that's done now let us again upload the code here i'll switch on the camera in the meantime So now the code is going to be uploaded again. So see this lengthy code I have not written. I have just got it from the template and I'm just editing it. Okay. So now I'm pressing the boot button. So it is uploading the code now. So it is saying that error in serial port COM1. So it cannot open the port uh, while it is in use. Okay, we'll clear the data. Press reset button again and uh, see it is now connected. So next, what we'll do, let, uh, let us just try to connect this uh, gas sensor here. So the first uh, white one is the BCC, black one is the ground, and A0 pin is the data pin. Okay, so white one. first one uh, white one is the bcc pin so i'll connect it to the three volt pin and the black one is your ground so i have connected to ground okay yeah you can see the gas sensor is uh, on now and then i'll connect uh, this one to the pin number 34 as i have given so pin number 34 is here okay so now this gas sensor is uh, giving the values now let us go to the blink website and uh, see there what is happening go here and here okay now i can see led control is happening and the gas sensor value you can see that it is 3835 and uh, what i can do is if i get some something to change the gas value so let me just check over that yeah i have a sanitizer so let me just i'm just uh, putting some uh, sanitizer in my hand and i'm trying to cover that with the gas sensor see now the value is increased that means uh, the gas sensor value is actually increased here now i'll remove my hand and uh, the value should decrease that means not very fast because some uh, sanitizer is set there okay so in the meantime it is decreasing so let us do one thing so we'll change this uh, setup here you can go to web dashboard and uh, then go to edit so here the value is more than 3000 so this conditions i will change so if it is 3200 and then to five zero so like this you can do so here it is three two five zero two let's say four thousand okay so you can add more values as well there so save and apply and uh, then again we'll go to the dashboard and we'll see what is happening there yeah, so see it is uh, like this now so actually it starts from 3800 okay so i gave the wrong value there 3200 fine anyways uh, so basic value is 3800 so up to 3800 let us uh, make it as a green color go to edit go to settings okay 3850 i'll make to this website 3850 3,852, 3,000, let's say 900, and then your uh, 3,900 to 4,000. Okay, so let's save it, save and apply, and we go to the dashboard again. So this one is um, okay. 
so i am just putting some sanitizer once again and i am putting near the sensor so if the value goes over 850 i think uh, the let's see the color is changed now okay now the thing is that here uh, you cannot see this gauze working so why because the maximum value here is very high so we can change that maximum value as well so that uh, it should work properly okay while connecting the virtual pin actually it is created i guess here the maximum value is given as 1000 so that's why at 1 lakh so here i'll give it 4000 okay so now i'll click on here and save apply we'll go to here and see what is happening there now you can see this properly it is coming So like this, uh, you can create your own IoT uh, dashboard as well. Okay, now you can see this uh, LED control is also there, still working. So it's uh, quite easy. Means uh, you can just create a template and change the code according to you, and it will work. So and you can also add how much uh, variables you need. And the next video, I will tell how you can use the mobile uh, version of the blink dashboard iot for uh, creating your uh, iot projects also so you can see if i go here and if i click on the mobile dashboard so here you cannot create the mobile dashboard you have to download it from the ios or the download from android app store and then you have to uh, create this already this uh, template is created only you have to create the dashboard with the switches and all so that is not a problem so with this, uh, I'll conclude this video here and with some more information and uh, more automation options available in the Blink platform, I'll come up with the next video. So please stay tuned and uh, see the next video when it is uploaded. To get the next video um, notification, please place the bell icon you have and you'll get it once I upload. Probably in one to, th one to two days I'll do it. So thank you, have a good day. and. Uh, I'll close this here with this quick start device metadata. So this is the Blink platform today. Okay, have a good day. Thank you.